vibe. Where to be that? Let's go. It don't take all day to do nothing. So get up and get out and do something. Don't let the pain go. That's the one that you made for. It don't take all day to do nothing. So get up and get out and do something. Don't let the pain go. That's the one that you made for. Get up, get out and get it. I'm on a mission of painting pictures with visual father race. Let's talk with Janario Scott. I'm your host, Janario Scott, and I'm kicking it with Shamanda. Burston, therapist, realtor, mompreneur, and speaker. How you doing? Great, it's great to be here with you. Yes, yes. <laughs> so I know that you are busy, you have so much going on. Yes, a lot going on. <laughs> yeah, so one of the things that you have going on is these speaking engagements that I see yes. that you're doing. Yes. So, I mean, is it just for motivation or, you know, what, what drag you or drew you to doing um, motivational speaking? Well, you know, obviously I'm a therapist throughout the week and I'm working with people one-on-one -on -one inside of an office setting. So for me, it was important to kind of step outside of those walls and office and really work with people outside in the community. So how can I bring the topic of depression, suicide, anxiety, or just regular everyday stuff to the community? And so speaking to you, speaking to parents in the community was something that's very important to me. So. That's so, good. Absolutely. So you're now doing speaking engagements. Mm -hmm. um, I know that you have one tomorrow, correct? Yes, I do. So, I mean, when you're up there speaking, like, what draws you to your audience or just, you know, is it your, what you've gone through? Mm -hmm. Absolutely. You know, being a teenage mom and high school dropout, um, you know, there's that's happening all over the world right. and it's happened yes. to so many people and people can relate to that. And I think it's the fact that I was able to go through those experiences and then still accomplish my goals and that's what people want to hear. They want to see someone who's kind of crossed over right. and not allowed those things to hinder them. And so I speak from my experiences and I share things that I utilize to help me get from point A to point wherever I am now. <laughs> yeah. And that's, that's, that's really needed because mm -hmm. so many young women, so many young girls are, you know, not saying falling in a trend, mm -hmm. but it, it's happening. Absolutely. And, you know, they, once they get pregnant, in the air, I can't do this. Mm -hmm. But you're showing girls that, you know, you can do. Absolutely. That, that's awesome. Absolutely. That's awesome. So, <laughs> this reason, we have some questions that um, some of the viewers um, sent me on Facebook. Okay. Um, and one of the questions was, being a realtor, when someone um, is trying to get a home, what are the four, or what are some things that you look at? Absolutely. So the first thing we look at is getting them approved for a loan, <laughs> right? So what's your credit score looking like? Yes. That's the first thing you want to figure out. So every year, every American can get a free credit report for free, okay. right? So just Google, there's different um, websites you can utilize. I think annualcreditreport.com uh -huh. is one of them. And so just pull your credit score and look at what's on there. Are there anything on there that's going to hinder you from being approved? And if you have a low credit score, you're going to look at having a high interest rate. Yeah. So you want to look at that. You also want to look at your income. How much income do you have? So that's going to kind of determine which loan you're going to qualify for and how much of a loan you're going to qualify for. And also determine how much of a down payment you're going to have to pay. So, you know, if you want, a, if you want a $200,000 home, you might want to have to put 10% down. So you might have to save 20%, which is like $20,000. How much, how much um, time is it going to take for you to save that? So it's all going to depend on your credit and your income. But also I like to tell people, also look at the fact that buying a home requires a lot of responsibility. Yes. Right? So when you're renting a home, something goes wrong, oh, let me call my property manager, right, let me call my right. maintenance man. Well, owning a home is not like that. You're going to have to be <laughs> responsible for fixing that hole in the wall. Right? If someone falls and gets hurt in your property, you're responsible. Right. So, yeah. so that's that's one thing that, you know, stay in in tune with when wanting to buy a home. Absolutely. I, you know, I need to think about that because I'm trying to buy a home. Mm -hmm. So it's like, you know, what what are my options? Absolutely. So um, when it comes to your book that you're mm -hmm. writing, like, <laughs> let, them, let them know about the book that you're writing. Absolutely. So my first book is called Wounded Healer, Tentatively. And it's looking at my story from as a young girl growing up in a home with domestic violence and experiencing and witnessing that from childhood illness and kind of overcoming my own issue with illness and near-death experience 
And then kind of crossing over to my teenage years and dealing with being teased or being skinny, you know, and then looking at, you know, progressing from that to my own domestic violence relationship and then dropping out of high school, getting pregnant, and then just kind of saying, you know what, something has to change. I'm 19 with two children. What can I do? Something has to change. And how I utilized all that stuff that had happened to me to kind of motivate me to go to school, get my high school diploma, get my bachelor's and get my master's and soon pursue my doctorate. So right. yeah. So what would you say if someone was to say, Shamanda, I'm trying to start my own business. Mm -hmm. You know, I want to be a, a author. I want to okay. be a therapist, mm -hmm. but they don't have the educational background. Mm -hmm. You know, what, you know, what tip would you give them? Okay, first I would say decide that that's what you want to do. Right. Write it down, right? It's so simple when you think about it. So making that decision that this is what I want to do, and then create a plan. How are you going to do that? If I want to be a therapist, then that requires a master's degree. So then you're going to you know, create your educational plan and things like that. And how are you going to support yourself financially? Right. Am I going to do this while at school, or am I going to go back and live with mama? So that I don't have to, <laughs> right? right? You know, so create a reasonable, realistic plan. And then also um, creating time management skills because that's one thing that people struggle with. I get that question a lot. How do you deal with everything? Right, because you do a lot. A lot. A lot. <laughs> <laughs> so, so definitely figuring out the time management skills. For me, it's about creating structure and playing out my day. I never start a day without to-do lists. Right. And I actually create my to-do list the night before. What do I need to do tomorrow? Right. What do I need to do tomorrow? What are important priority things that I need to get done, right? And so also creating a time that you get up every day at the same time. And for me, having children, I need some time <laughs> before they get up. <laughs> I need some time right after they go to bed. Like, I need some time, right? right? And so I, get, I set my alarm at least an hour before I even get them up and get dressed. Before I even get myself dressed, where I can just relax and kind of prepare for the day. Because as a therapist, I'm hearing stories right. all day long for hours and hours. So I need that time to say, okay, just to pray, right. get myself ready mentally and spiritually. So time management, creating a plan, um, finding out who your support systems are going to be. Right. Who are you going to be able to call on whenever you're just like, I'm, listen, I can't do this. Right, it's too much. I'm, I'm done. I tried for two days, but I can't do this. No. Right? Who's going to be that person going to say, you know, you want to keep doing it. This is what you want to do. Right. So create that support system and also look at what your resources are going to be. Right? Financially, um, educationally, spiritually, right. all of that. So those are some tips that I have that I use personally. Oh, so then to tell your audience, like, What's next for you? What's next? I mean, my main focus right now is working on, you know, getting out in the community more, mm -hmm. speaking at schools, organizations, on panels, um, of course, completing my book and getting that published. Yes, absolutely. I'm for that. And just recently, I started working toward doctoral applications and doctoral programs. So, um, you are doing it. Over. Yeah, that's going to be interesting. And then also just creating um, more entrepreneur opportunities. I, my passion is really creating opportunities for people who struggle with finding um, employment opportunities. That's great. You know, yeah, like your ex, I guess people coming out of prisons, um, felons, you know, Definitely. people who are disenfranchised. Yeah, because they really, it's really not, you know, any formations for them. Absolutely. Like they get out and it's like, you know, what's next? Absolutely. But well, that's awesome. It has been good chatting <laughs> with you. Absolutely. Thank so, you. So, I mean, how, how can we watch you, you know, see what's next? Your, your show that you're about yes. to start working on. Yes. Like, how can all this be viewed and followed? Absolutely. So, you guys can check me out on YouTube.com backslash Shamanda Burston. I have just started a new series called Shamanda Talks, where I'm going to okay. be talking about different topics, life, finance, relationships, raising children entrepreneurship therapy topics just real life stuff probably my first topic is going to be cuffing season or something yes. right. oh, listen. <laughs> definitely find me there you can follow me on instagram at at shamanda burston and also twitter and also look at me on facebook i have my own page Shamanda Burston one, number one. Shamanda Burston number one. one. Well, I would definitely be tuning in, especially <laughs> about this cuffing season. Yes. Because uh, I need it. The psych psychology behind that. Right. Yes. Ooh, yes. <laughs> All right, you guys. So this has been Let's Talk with Janario Scott. Janario Scott. Shamanda Burston.
Thank you guys. Hey guys, it's Shamanda Burstyn here, kicking it with Let's Talk with Genario Scott.